On the morning of September 7, 2017, despite not feeling well, 17-year-old Jalen Brown left for school. Once at school, he began feeling worse and was released from class to rest in the ROTC lounge. He took two steps and then fell on his knee and then he just went face first. My immediate reaction was just to make sure he wasn't dead. My second thought was just to go get help. That morning, Webster Risen came into my classroom and said something's wrong with Jalen. He, he's, he's, he's he kind of passed out. I saw Jalen there and I was like, yeah, something, something's seriously wrong. So as soon as uh, I saw that and I turned to Webster, I said, go get Lieutenant and go get my cell phone. I was informed by one of our cadets, we need to come into the cadet lounge area. Um, something's, something's happened. The agonal breathing, classic sign of cardiac arrest, really led me to believe it wasn't a seizure as initially thought, so I wanted the AED. When the AED arrived, Senior Chief Thompson set it down next to me and handed me the pads. I immediately applied the pads to Jalen's chest and turned it on. It analyzed his rhythm immediately and by shock, so I cleared everyone from around it, shocked them, and started compressions. Squad 22, Med 21. Squad 22, Med 21. I need you to respond to a seizure that turned into a cardiac arrest at the 16 Woods Mill Road, 715 Woods Mill Road. It's going to be the Gainesville High 9th Grade Center, Gainesville High 9th Grade Center. 17-year-old male patient has went into a cardiac arrest. In a cardiac arrest, the heart has stopped, the patient has stopped breathing, and is what we call clinically deceased. This happens about 360,000 times a year. Your odds of dying are 92%. I actually got Jalen's pulse back and he started breathing on his own in my third set of CPR. 10 4 just be advised, we also received notification that the juvenile is breathing again. The breathing is stabilizing, the pulse is at 97. EMS came in, they assessed the scene, he came down and immediately uh, hooked up Jalen to their heart monitor um, as they initially did the first set of vital signs and helped move him over to the stretcher. advised the patient presented with seizure activity and then what they believe was cardiac arrest. They did initiate CPR, placed the AED, shock was delivered times one. When I heard the age of 17 and cardiac arrest, I immediately, you, you have to take a deep breath because it changes things a little bit for you, your mindset. As he rolled in with EMS, um, Jalen was unresponsive. Um, we had our whole team at the bedside. He did have a pulse, but he was unresponsive. About 10 o'clock, I got a text, um, and it was, this is Lieutenant um, Bordrew from the school. And when I called him, he said, it's Jalen, but I need you to keep calm for what I'm about to tell you. As a mother, just seeing here, um, you know, watching your son, you know, you don't know what's going on with his body. You just want to grab him and hold him. And at the same time, you don't want to be in the way. So basically, I just grabbed his hand and I told him, I was like, Jalen, as I've always been, I'm here for you. If you can hear me, you know, I need you to fight this, but you're going to have to work with the doctors. So I kneeled down below him and, you know, I asked her to tell me if I'm in her way, but right now I need to call on the Lord and I need him in this room right now. So at that moment, I grabbed Jalen's hand and I squeezed it tight. And it felt to me like he was squeezing back. Like, you know, mama, I got this, you know, just hold on, I'm trying. <laughs> so I told him, I was like, Lord, you know, I know I have to be acceptable for whatever your will is for my son, but right now it's not the time to take him because I need him. 
When Jalen collapsed in Webster's arms and hit the floor, that was the moment he went into cardiac arrest. So from that point on, every 60 seconds that went by, Jalen's odds of dying went up 10%. If 911 was called and nothing was done and waited for the ambulance to get there to start treatment, Jalen likely would not be alive. So because uh, the quick thinking of Webster to go get help, his teachers who started CPR immediately, the fact that they knew there was an AED, they knew where it was, they sent someone to go get it immediately and bring it back while CPR was being done, uh, is what saved Jalen's life. Those teachers, I mean, they're my heroes. I, I, every time I see them, I just want to hug and love on them because, you know, if their quick reaction had been just a slight bit later, Jalen wouldn't be here. Um, and it's just a gift. My name is Jalen Brown. I'm a senior at Gainesville High School. I think people should appreciate life and live it to the fullest because you never know what can happen in the next 30 seconds or week, you know? We take every moment with Jalen as a precious gift because it could have been his last. To learn more about how the Medical Center Foundation advances healthcare throughout Northeast Georgia, visit themedicalcenterfoundation.org.